Alright, so this is index laws again. This time we're simplifying by decomposing. This is not really something you've done a lot of, uh, but it is not too bad. Here's my example. 12 to the power of n times 18 to the negative 2n. And if you look at it, you should immediately say that can't be done because the bases are different. And if the bases are different, we can't really operate with them in terms of index laws. But what we're going to do is decompose 12 and decompose um, n into its prime factors. So if I look at 12, 12 can be broken down. It can be broken down into uh, 6 times 2, and 6 can be broken down into 3 times 2. So its prime factors are 3 times 2 times 2, which is the same as uh, 3 times 2 to the power of 2. Okay. So that's what 12 is the same as. 18 can be broken down into 9 times 2, and 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3, and that can be rewritten as 3 squared times 2. Okay, so I've done a prime decomposition, which you would have learned how to do in year 7, and using those prime um, decompositions, I can rewrite this question. Instead of 12, it's 3 times 2 to the power of 2. That's 12, all to the power of n. And 18 is going to be um, 3 squared times 2, all to the power of negative 2n. Now, using my, uh, I want to say my fourth index law, maybe it's my third index law, 3 times 2 to the 2 to the power of n, I can say 3 to the power of n times 2 to the 2 to the n, so that's 2 times n, which is 2n. So now I have 3 to the n times 2 to the 2n, and I can do the same here. 3 to the 2 times negative 2n, that's going to be 3 to the negative 4n, and 2 to the power of negative 2n. I can rearrange that, bring the 3's together, bring the 2's together. I've got 3 to the n times 3 to the negative 4n times 2 to the 2n times 2 to the negative 2n. Uh, my first index law says that if I'm multiplying two indexes, I add those bits together. So it's going to be 3 to the negative 4n plus n, and then multiply it by 2 to the 2n plus negative 2n. All right, 3 to the negative 4n plus n is going to be 3 to the negative 3n. And I'm multiplying it by 2 to the 2n plus negative 2n. So 2n minus 2n is 0, 2 to the 0. Uh, okay, that 3 to the negative 3n, if something has a negative power, it means it's on the bottom of a fraction. Oh, sorry, it's on the wrong side of a fraction. So I can rewrite this as 1 over 3 to the 3n, and I'm multiplying it by 2 to the 0, and 2 to the 0 is 1. And so my final answer is 1 over 3 to the 3n. All right, so that's uh, simplifying by decomposing or by prime decomposition. Uh, you know, you don't really need all of that, this bit here. That's just me showing you what prime decomposition is. Here's your working here. But you might still need to do that as to the side somewhere to come up with 3 times 2 to the 2 when you're decomposing 12. Uh, there are more complicated questions, but the, the logic is the same no matter how difficult the question is.